Hello, my name is Trider. Welcome to part 7 of the Roman Hippodrome tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. So, last time we had just finished this phase here. Midway up the entablature. With the arch at the front and everything. So, next phase over here, you know the deal. Um, we need to install the dentils for the entablature design. You've already built this twice. So, some of you may already be ahead of me. We're taking this pattern that we stopped with here and just extending it on this way every other block with uh, cobblestone half slabs, just like so, turning the corner right here along the front and then stopping right here. And of course here we are extending up our main archway at the front, our very large Roman triumphal arch. Here with uh, more diorite and stone bricks and a bit of cobble for the nameplate in the middle here. And uh, same deal on both sides. Let's go back over here and take a look at this one. Same pattern for the cobblestone slabs. Just like so. And extending over here in the corners. Like that there. And of course you can see behind this you're raising up the diorite as well to a second block. And behind that you can fill some of it in with cobblestone. And underneath here of course we are finishing off the underside here just like we did down, uh, down there. We're extending the colonnade forward until it inter interfaces with the wall here. Just like that there. All right, I think that's all there is to see on that phase. It's a pretty easy phase. A lot of building, but it's all very repetitive. Now, speaking of repetitive, we of course have the design for the rest of the entablature details here. You, you're familiar with the upside down cobblestone stairs and the walls and the chiseled stone bricks behind those. Every other block, this little module here, just come, just uh, repeat the pattern all the way Till we get to this corner down here where we kind of just need to squish things together in the corner and then turn a 90 degree and over here a 90 degree again extending the pattern this way another 90 degree across the front here of course another turn another squish in the corner here and another turn down here where of course the pattern ends And at the front here, we are extending our diorite and cobblestone up again, just like so. And at the front here, these are the lowest letters of our SPQR uh, that we have across the front of the monument. So you want to skip two blocks and then put down, was that going to be uh, three blocks? And of copper, skip two, then one block, and then skip um, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, then two, then one. And two, then one, then three, and then that's the end of that. All right, so same deal over here, same patterns you did. Just mirror all that on the other side. And in here, we are doing the same pattern, except you will notice that we will be reversing it. So if you're doing it from this side here, we want to skip three blocks and then one, one there, one here, and what, six here, and then two, and then that's all. Right there for that. Just like so. Of course we are squishing the design for uh, the entablature. This hits the wall right there and ends. And of course on the interior here we're doing the same thing that we did on the exterior. Same patterns, just uh, a lot of uh, tedious block placing, no doubt all along the row here and this th this should just follow whatever you built over here just keep extending the pattern off this way all right next phase this should be an easier phase uh, because we are finishing the entablature by putting the cornice right here on it so you are taking your upside down stone brick stairs and extending them all the way across 
Looks like so. You might be placing some stone bricks behind those as well. Just like that here. When you get to the corner, of course, you want to squish it in and make a uh, bend here. Just like so. Then make a corner here. Like this here. And uh, I, I didn't on the model, but if you want to, you can put a, a, um, a cobblestone wall on these little endpoints right here. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It's okay if you don't have it. Oops. There's a bit of a uh, diorite missing back there. Now those two blocks should be diorite. And that one down here too. I've probably talked about that in a previous in the previous video. Um, oh yes, I forgot. Also, there was this deal here where uh, part of the uh, thing was clipped off. Well, hopefully, hopefully you have fixed that. Uh, it's fixed on this side over here. All you have to do is just build it like this on, on both sides. Uh, so here, our cornice uh, hits the diorite block here and ends. Just like so. And back here, we've got more diorite and stone bricks across the front. And uh, you can use the blocks that we've already counted out in place as a guide to place these right here. Just like so. And of course, you want to uh, turn that around and do it like this here on the other side. Otherwise, your lettering will, will come out reversed. Right. Same deal, and tablature hits uh, this little point right here and stops. All right, next phase. Uh, so, on top of all of your stone brick stairs, the upside down stairs here, you want to put a edge of cobblestone blocks on top of those all the way around the building. Uh, and behind those, we are of course doing uh, our tiles, our roof tiles here on the top. This pattern here, just another little module, you can see how it's broken up. If you extend another module here, this is half of one. There's another module here, one here, and over here is going to be a different one uh, because we uh, need to stop the roof here. All right, now uh, for this next section, we are starting to lay out the bases of the, you remember from the uh, way back at the beginning, we have these really tall towers, two of them. On either side, uh, there's, there's one of them off over there. I've, when we get to this, I've elected to, to take these off the building and put them in sequence right over there. So hopefully we will get to that entire sequence today. Uh, so behind this, you want to put down, uh, was that a 5x5 five five pad of cobble? On all of the four corners, right there, and just edge the entire thing out with cobblestone. And behind that, we want to do this pattern here. If uh, I just draw a little, a little center line this way, and we can also draw another one this way. And the pattern for this is going to be, uh, um, what? This here, two, one, three, one, one, three, one, two, two, one, and this would be another three. Off over there for that. You want to rotate that 90 degrees and do it in all four quadrants, just like you see done there with, of course, the cobbled deep slate and uh, whatever fill block you want to have behind that. All right, uh, over here we have another little section of roofing. I am not sure why this isn't filled in. It's something, it probably should be, but if you're building the Monument Hollow, which I assume quite a few of you are, uh, you probably don't need to worry about that. Just build this section here 
However, you ended up building that one over there because I believe that this is a, just a copy of that section. Right? And here, we're, of course, uh, we still got a ways to go on our triumphal arch right here with more diorite and a bit of uh, waxed cut copper for our lettering, just like so. And of course you want to reverse all of that on this side here, on the interior. I think we can go on to the next phase. Uh, so over here, uh, you know how to build these sections from the previous portions of the tutorial. So go ahead and build all of these all the way to the edge here. And over here, of course, we have a section where we have these, uh, these ribs that are extending uh, 45 degree angles right here, like so, to uh, end the roof segment. Uh, it also looks like I might have made a small mistake here and double the roof segment for the tiles there. Oh. Oh well. Uh, that's what I worked out to be, so I guess that's what we'll have to go with. Uh, but except for these doubled roof tiles, all the rest of the tiles should follow the same design pattern we have for all the rest of the building. Uh, over here on your 5x5 five five pads of cobble, you want to put um, stone brick stairs all the way around, like so, on all four of these little pads. And then behind that, I think, uh, just extend everything up with a layer of cobblestone, according to the same numbering that we did down there. Just on top of the cobble deep slate, go around and put cobblestone on top of it. So here we are, another roof segment. Just like that one over there. However you build that one, build this one. Same way, let's take a look here at the triumphal arch. It's integrated into the building. Still extending up our diorite and everything. The only real difference here is the lettering. You can see the S, P, Q, and R slowly beginning to, to take shape. Just like so. Of course, you want to uh, reverse that for the interior like that. All right, next phase. Roof modules. Just like so, you can see your cobblestone is going to be meeting up here at a point. It, it will join this uh, this rib on the top here. It will be extending all this extending all the way al along the building, just like so. Uh, over here, the next thing we want to do is put down a couple of blocks of diorite, three by three, like so. And on top of the cobblestone on this section here, which is forms the base of our tower, which is coming into view here, that down there, all the way at the bottom where the cursor is, that, that is where we are at in the building. So we have, uh, we have quite a lot still to get to today. Uh, but what you want to do here is place the stone brick stairs according to this pattern. Just like so for our column bases and everything. Well, our, our pilaster bases. And whatever block you want to fill uh, all this in back here with, go ahead and do that. Uh, so uh, another roof segment here. I'm really not sure why this is cut off. I guess we'll find out later in the video. We might have to double back on that. A couple more blocks of cut copper here for the lettering. Out front, like so. And then of course reverse it on the interior here.
And I don't think there's anything else much to take a look at in here. As soon as we get done building the archway and the roof and everything, we will then shift over to doing this tower. We are seeing the tail end of the tower here that we're going to be building. As you can see, it's getting shorter and shorter off in the, into the distance. So when we get all the way to the end of that is when we will turn around and come back in this direction. Uh, so over here, almost finished with the roof. Just like so. Uh, now, of course, you should recognize this pattern by now because these are our columns again. Be lower down. You can see the design here with the deep slate, the cobble, and the stairs, and now the, the uh, upside down cobblestone stairs right down there. And here they are again, of course. You can see we're going to be building more columns. You can see them right over here. Well, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look here real quick at the final model, since we're just right here. Now you can see this. This is where we are at up there on the model. We've got these uh, 45 degree angled eagle statues. We're going to be building four of those as we go. But you can see we've got our columns here. There's going to be, uh, what, uh, eight, eight columns and four little plasters stuck in the corner back here. And then, of course, another entablature, a pediment, more column bases, column shafts, capitals, entablature, uh, cornice, dome, and uh, eagle at the top there to decorate everything on it. And of course, this, this uh, the eagle stops here because I've already done this. This is the Roman eagle tutorial, which I will, of course, be referring you to that at the end of the video. Um, where was I? I think I covered all of that. Go on to this phase here. Uh, wait. Yes, okay, this is the phase we were just at. Uh, so you want to do all this here with your upside down cobblestone stairs and then just cobblestone behind that. On all of those, a three by three die right here. Now the roof section here, uh, which uh, just bluntly ends right here. This is, this is very messy. Why'd I leave this? Hmm. Well, well, we'll, we'll find out when we get to it. I wonder if that um I wonder if that got chopped out when I was doing that. Oh, well. Uh anyway, over here, a couple more blocks for our lettering. And of course, you want to reverse that on this side here. I don't think there's anything else to take a look at. So, we will whoops. So we will go on to the next phase. So over here, putting a uh, straight cobblestone line, middle ridge line, on our roof here to cap all that off and to cap it off on the end here as well. Just like that there. Uh, next phase, I mean not next phase, ne next part, we have a bit more die right here. Um, cobblestone slabs and then up on all the upside down cobblestone stairs we of course want to put right side up ones or the bases of our columns and just uh, cobblestone behind that on all four uh, statue bases and on all of the uh, what 12 columns we have here and over here for our roof ah Okay, so I somehow, I somehow missed all this down here. Uh, so I'm not sure how that happened, but um, I fill fill this in with the roof pattern. Pretend that this block, uh, that this void isn't here, that this roof pattern extends on over and touches this wall here. In other words, just take the roof pattern and extend it all the way over here until it fills in and touches that wall on both of these sides here.
Sorry about that. I, I totally did not see that before. I published the reference model. That's a number of things that's been wrong with this building. But it's so big, I think you can, I think you can forgive me, the, these, little, these little spaces here. Um, on this phase, we uh, finished the lettering. Just like you see done here, to make your S, P, Q, and R, or uh, the Senatus of Publiusque Romanus, the Senate and People of Rome, just like so. And we've just been extending out the triumphal arch with the pattern here. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I didn't remark on it much. Uh, next phase, we want to add these little uh, decorative diorite finials where these uh, ridges meet at the top here. Just go ahead and do, do that there on all of those uh, down the building, just like so. I think it's just about three more of those on both sides. And uh, I didn't put any, well, there's only one block of diorite right here. It looks like I should have put one here, but I didn't. It looks like that got chopped off with the rest of this roof. Oh, well. Uh, but you can fix that in your model. You can have a better model than the one I presented to you. Uh, so over here, upside down, stone brick stairs, all the way around. And then here you can see these two by two blocks of diorite. All of those represent uh, column shafts. These column shafts over there, we're going to be building here. And then we want to put a mortar line of diorite behind those, according to this pattern here. Because what we're doing with the tower behind that, just like we did with our brickwork pattern down here, you know, this very familiar brickwork pattern that we have, it extends all through the building, and it, of course, extends into the next level of this tower here that we are beginning to construct. And so for the triumphal archway, more diorite and stone bricks, just like so, and then just straight cobble across the center. And then do that on both sides. Right there. And uh, that'll be that done. Uh, so we're pretty much finished with the roofing and everything here. So I'm going to be focusing in on uh, finishing the arch in the tower now. Uh, a bit of gold ore here, 3x3. Three three. Uh, more diorite. And here is the pattern for the brickwork that we have being done here with the cobblestone. And then just have a diorite behind that everywhere it's visible for uh, like uh, mortar lines, decorative mortar lines. And here a line of diorite across there to finish that off, and I assume that you've already gone in and finished finished off the roof and everything and added your little uh, decorative finial there. And we are capping off a lot here at the front now, as you can see. We frame this entire thing out with diorite. This is still continuing up, and just uh, put a straight line across, and that will finish the entire frame for the inscription in the middle. And you know, Minecraft. We, we can only put a couple of letters in here. Uh, you can fit more if you want to use banners, but you, the, um, the banner render range is like, I don't know, right here or so. You would never see it from down there. So we, I elected to go with uh, large lettering instead of trying to do a complicated banner inscription that uh, nobody would be able to read. Uh, next phase. Uh, the base of our 45 degree diagonal eagles, which we have here. Well, these are, I don't remember if these are eagles or not. I think they might be, I think they're diagonal Acroterion statues, actually. Maybe they're eagles, I don't remember. No. Yeah, they're definitely Acroterions. Uh, but uh, 45 degree diagonal ones. I've been meaning to do a dedicated tutorial video on these, but I just haven't done that. Uh, but you can get it in this video. And uh, everything for the tower that you did, extend that up another block. Just like so, all the diorite and cobble and everything. 
And of course, it's a 45 degree, so we want to have them pointing outwards this way and that way and uh, back in this way. Uh, so, for the triumph large, good news, just a bit of diorite and just slab the entire thing over with stone bricks. Across the front there. And across the back here. Alright, next phase, let's take a look at our diagonal eagles. Well, acroterions here. That's the pattern for it. Actually, as we go, I'm just I'll just place down some wool on top of it here, just to make it uh, uh, more apparent. As we go, remember to rotate these 90 degrees every time you build one of them. We want to have them facing out on the four corners, just like so. I mean, get a little altitude on that, just like so. And then behind that, we have just another simple layer of uh, diorite mortar. In other words, what you did down here for this layer, uh, do it again up here. All right, for our big archway, uh, we want to uh, hang a block over of cobblestone, just like this here, all the way around. Uh, indeed, uh, and without exception, all the way around the top of uh, this section here. Just all the way around like so. It's kind of like a cornice, but uh, it's uh, more simple. Uh, all right, uh, next thing for the diagonal acroterions. Place some blocks here. For the layer that we need to build, just like that there. And get a little altitude, and of course want to rotate those and do it on all four corners. And then behind that we just have a straight, uh, straight layer line of cobblestone all the way around there in a big cross. Okay, over here for our triumph archway again, we have uh, every place you had the cobblestone, extend that up, and on the front of it you want to put upside down cobblestone stairs as a, a larger, larger decorative cornice. All the way around the building, just like here, all the way along the front, along the sides. And along the back. Just like that there. Alright, next phase. Um, cobblestone again. Uh, this is a, a repetition. The, the, we did this on the last phase. Just do all that again. For this one, just extend it straight up. One thing we have to pause on here is our statues. So, if we place four blocks there, and then two on either side, out there, and one back here, then that will be that slice. And then just remember to rotate it as we go. It's a needless decoration, but it's a fun decoration. Uh, so, here, uh, uh, good news. Everything you did for the upside down cobblestone stairs, go around and repeat that, but with stone brick stairs. Or if you want to get a little fancy, you could use some polished andesite stairs. That's generally what I like to use these days instead of stone bricks. Um, but it doesn't matter too much. The texture isn't really all that different. Uh, but yeah, wherever you have the cobblestone stairs, just uh, stack that up with a layer of stone brick stairs. All right, here, an another mortar level, right here in the middle. And a little bit more of our statues here. So we can place a block there, two behind there, just a little cross like that. And then leave a gap of one and do these little, little L's. Right, right there. 
And then the whole thing from top down. Uh, all right, uh, next phase, really easy. Uh, go around and uh, uh, go back a block on all the sides where you have the uh, stone brick stairs and put a layer of cobblestone all the way around those. Never mind the diorite that's behind that. You don't have to put that. Just uh, put a big layer of cobblestone all the way around that. All right. Uh, next phase, which I think is... Is this one. Uh, so, getting to the point where we're almost finished with these statues here. So we want to have a, a bit of a head there. And then over here, just two little blocks on the sides there. And then do that three more times, rotating as you go. And uh, back down here for the tower. We've done enough of this. I think you see the pattern. So uh, this layer here corresponds to this layer here. It's just a copy and paste. And this layer here is we're going to be building another one of those right there. So like we have here for the brickwork and everything, just uh, keep going up with that. And over here, a bit of gold. Right there, three by three of gold. Or. And then behind that, oh, I guess we do need that diorite. My mistake. I forgot that, that that suddenly goes back there. Okay. Okay, that diorite I said you need didn't need back there, you didn't you do need it. Um uh, before this one is fairly easy, I think this is just about the top of the archway as well. Uh, so here, after you put down your three by three of gold, it just goes right on top of this um cobblestone here. You want to leave a gap here and then start here with stone bricks and go in a big rectangle until you get to a similar block over here, like so. Turn the corner, same deal, like that there. Turn the corner back again and make a really big rectangle out of that until you get all the way back here. Behind that, you want to incise a rectangle of diorite and then uh, sheet the whole thing over with cobblestone. Just like you see done there. Alright, next phase. I think we are finishing the statues. Here. So all you want to do is put uh, two more blocks on either side for the wingtips. Right there. And then that should be these statues complete. Unless I'm gravely mistaken, which I don't think I am. And of course, continue the design up with your, your, your columns and your pilasters and your brickwork and everything. Repeating pattern for the tower for now. Uh, so over here we've got. Um, I think these are. It's been a while. I think these are. Um, these things. Back over here. That we've already built. You remember these these decorative acroterions with the with the wings and everything. Just like this here. Uh, we're going to be building those again, except we're going to be building four of them on our triumphal arch on top of these uh, little gold pads that we put down. So you can see the beginning of that here. Just like so. And uh, you already know the pattern of this, so just go ahead and copy that again uh, four times here for the archway. And now behind that, we want to put, um, looks like we put a big uh, rectangular slab of cobblestone. And then we have uh, every other block on top of the diorite. Go around and put uh, more diorite, according to this pattern here. All right, another layer of the tower. It's a mortar layer right there. Uh, statues here that I already talked about. And it looks like here for this, everything I just told you to do here, uh, just extend that up for two blocks in total for that entire phase for the triumphal arch. 
Uh, so over here, or the tower, cobblestone again, repeating patterns. Statues here, and on every other, every other, other one of these, we want to have our little decorative of finials. You know, these little, these little things that we built over here all along the, uh, all along the roof ridge. Um, we're doing that again over here at the archway. So just start at the corners and then skip one and then place one, skip one, place one, skip, place. All the way until you get to the other end where, of course, you then turn the corner, place two more, go along the other end here, like so, and then turn the corner there. And then here is uh, another thing we're not going to be covering in this tutorial. This is um, the, uh, the I think it's a, the Spartan Hoplite tutorial. I want to say Roman, but it's, it's a Spartan Hoplite, and these are where his feet go. Uh, so you'll have to refer to that tutorial to build this statue here. Uh, but to get some measurements for this to help you place your feet, if we start from this point here on the exterior and count for over for what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. We want to count for eight. Make sure that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then turn the corner here and count for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then build that, uh, that there. Out of, uh, I think, uh, I think in the, the tutorial, it's e it's either blackstone or obsidian. It might be obsidian, uh, but you could also use some cobble deep slate for that if you wanted to as well. And uh, let's measure. Uh, let's keep going from this point here. So after you build that, we then want to count for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, until we get to this point right here, where of course we're building his other foot. And uh, he's facing inwards this way, so that would technically be his right foot. Just like so. And uh, then we can go on to the next phase. So here we are, a bit more of the tower. Repeating patterns and everything. Not really going over this in too much detail, because, you know, you, you can see how to extend this up as we go from what you previously built. A uh, bit more of the Acroterions here as well. And hmm, can we just do, can we just do that phase? Oh. oh, I think that's because I chopped off the, uh, I think because I chopped off this statue. Uh, okay, so over here, a bit more of the tower, just like so. And no, that was the tail end of that phase. Okay, my apologies. So many phases, sometimes I get a little bit lost with all of them. Now, so here, as you can see, we have finished our columns again. All these columns should be the same height as all the other columns that we built in the building. And we, of course, want to start building our uh, uh, Corinthian capitals. So you know what that means, upside down stone brick stairs. Right there. And then a mortar behind that. And then back here in the corners. We only build it on two sides and then just put cobble behind that. Uh, because they are pilasters and they are attached to the building. Uh, whereupon we have uh, uh, run slam out of phases over here. That's because I got a little tired of copying the, in copying the entire hippodrome just to do the tower. Uh, so I thought that was a little excessive, so I, I chopped off the tower and put it over here. So we're, we're going to be turn around and go all the way back to where we started way back, uh, however long ago that was. But in the meantime, uh, you, can, you can sit back and reflect on your fully completed uh, Roman Triumphal Archway anyway. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't have the, the Spartan Hall play there at the top, 
that is in its own tutorial video. So as I said, if you want to build one of those or something completely different, uh, please refer to the Spartan Hoplite tutorial, which is, of course, just a smaller version of the Spartan Colossus tutorial. And he, as, as big as this archway was, the Colossus is just too big to stand on top of this. It does look really nice, though, I have to say. I think uh, this is modeled, actually, after the Arch of Titus, I want to say. It's definitely not the Arch of Constantine. I think it's more like the Arch of Titus. Uh, th th this could also be, if you wanted to build one, perhaps an Arc, uh, Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Uh, I mean, that one's got a, a bit of a different design. This, this one is more uh, ancient classical Roman than that one is. Uh, but if you want, you want to build one of those and put a uh, put a statue of Napoleon at the top as well, you you could do that. Uh, I think that was actually what was supposed to be at the top of the Arc uh, de Triomphe, uh, but I don't think it's actually up there anymore. I think they put that in a museum somewhere after he fell from power and everything. That that's usually what happens to emperors and leaders whenever they fall from power. Their their statues usually fall with them. Strange how that works. Uh, so, over here, uh, next phase, of course, I've sheared off the entire tower uh, just, just, to make, just to make everything more condensed. Uh, so, for the remainder of the video, we're going to be doing the rest of this tower. So, as you can see here, uh, right side up stone brick stairs on top of all the upside down ones and just do more brickwork behind that. Just like so. Then, next phase, repeat everything you did with the upside down stone brick stairs, but do it with cobble right here. Uh, I think you know the pattern for the uh, Corinthian capital by now in your sleep. Same deal. Uh, what we did in cobblestone just now, do it in stone bricks. Just like so. And then more stone bricks here again to finish off our Corinthian capitals, our acanthus leaves and everything. Just like so back in here. All right, next phase, uh, you know what comes next. We finished our Corinthian capitals, so what comes after capitals? Entablatures, that's right. So, what we are doing here is we want to put our diorite lintels all the way around here in a big cross, just according to this pattern here. Looks like there's a couple of extra extra blocks of diorite around on the edges. In fact, there, there, I think there should have been one over here. That looks like another mistake. I bet there's a block of cobble. Yep. Okay. That should be a block of diorite. Yep. Another mistake. So these little indentations, you do need that. Right there. I'm not sure how that happened. It should have all been copied and pasted. It should have should have not had that. Oh well. Uh, so after you do that, extend your diorite or just whatever block up. And then put upside down stone brick stairs. And a big cross pattern all the way around that, just like this here. Next phase up from that, another cross of diorite. And extend that cross of diorite up for two blocks. And then every other block, you want to put, of course, our cobblestone our, uh, slab dentils, just like so here. Of course, they're called dentils because they're supposed to actually represent uh, teeth. Somehow. That's just what the ancient Greeks called them. Um, over here, of course, that may be a Latin word. I don't know. It's probably a Greek word. Uh, but anyway, you know the pattern for the Corinthian uh, details and everything. Just like we did previously with bending everything around, you want to do that again here for the tower, just like so. Just wrap it and bend it around all the diorite according to uh, that cross pattern there. And then on top of that, you know what comes next. The cornice of stone bricks, just like so. I mean, not, not just quite like so. This, that should be a uh, stone brick stair right back in there. It should be on all of these four corners. That's yet another mistake. 
I think this building has a record for how many little mistakes I've made. I usually don't make quite this many, but with, with how big this building is, I think perhaps you can forgive me with the number of mistakes because I am catching them as I go through the tutorial. So uh, you can you can fix them. They're, they're usually just uh, small mistakes for the most part. Little fiddly things that only would annoy me. Um, so here, what we're doing now is, of course, uh, we finished our entablature yet again. Uh, we've built several entablatures in this building. This is going to be the, the third tier of entablature. Uh, we're not quite done with those yet. The worst one is yet to come when we make it circular. Uh, but uh, now we want to put in a series of four pediments. And, of course, the pediments are the triangular portions of the building done according to this pattern here. Just like so. I'm not sure why that isn't cobblestone. It perhaps should be in these corners here. And of course, this is a uh, four-way symmetrical design. So whatever you do in this corner and in the middle, you want to do in all the other ones. And we want to place some diorite and a bit of... Uh, um, roof tiles behind that. Let's go on to the next phase over here. So I'm seeing something else wrong. Uh, so this this should be uh, red nether brick. It's like so. Back here. This yeah. Th th this is the correct one. As you see right here. And you just want to turn the corner and build another one right there. And of course, here's the pattern for the pediment. This is just this is exactly the same pattern that we did on the interior. Let's just peek in here for a moment. This is the same pattern that we did for uh, these things back here. To refresh your memory of what of what we're doing, uh, the, these little uh, pediments here that we built already, just like so. We're going to be building those again. Well, we're going to be building four of them for each tower, so it's going to be eight in total. Uh, but if it's easier to, for you to refer back to that part in the older video or refer to your existing work or something, or just use this portion here, which I'm going to cover in a little quicker manner. Uh, do whatever uh, you need to do. Or that there. And behind here, we of course have the, the base of the next set of columns that we're building and everything. Just like this here, just let the, let the numbering of the roof tiles and everything here guide you with that. Give you a top down view so you can kind of check where you're at. But yeah, as you can see, if you divide the building into four parts, uh, this little corner over here, this little L shape, you want to be building that four times. Just like that there. All right, next phase up. Let's start over here with the little pediments like this here. Almost finished with that. Little downright decorations on the corners here. And then we're just extending up the cobblestone behind that there. And let's take a look at that from the top. All right, next phase up. You can see we have something starting to resemble a round shape. These are, of course, the uh, the base levels for our columns, for our round columns. So all these columns that we built way back here, you know, the straight ones here with the nice uh, flat walls behind them and everything. Well, we're going to be building more of those on top of these. Make uh, one last block of dial right there. And then finishing off uh, the tympanum 
and the uh, pediment here. And if memory serves, I think we're probably going to have some, some of those on top of that right there. I think we'll take a look at that in a moment. Like so. Next phase. Oh, okay. Well, we have a little 2 by 3 tower right there where I built that. And then behind that, as you can see here, we have, uh, we have this thing here. Uh, if you want to uh, find the center, let's draw a little center line that way and a little center line back this way. If you keep track of everything, we can see that we have four quadrants we're dealing with. They're all identical to each other. And uh, I'll just uh, I'll just place down some some blocks here to make this a little bit more apparent how this numbering goes because it's kind of important to have this right. Just like that there, these these are the base levels for our next uh, and last set of columns in the building. Well, last for the building, not. Uh, not, not counting all the stuff we're going to be doing down the spine. There's, there's a couple more in that. Uh, so, uh, next phase up. From uh, that. Uh, looks like here at the top where we put the dial right, we want to have uh, upside down cobblestone stairs. Like so. However, you can make this work. And then behind that, uh, we want to, let's just draw this in with the red here so it's more apparent. What we're doing is where things get really, really circular. Well, you know, Minecraft. As circular as we can get using, using only squares. Just like so. And on the edges of this, of course, you recognize what we're doing. With our uh, with our Corinthian column pattern again. These are the bases with the the stone brick stairs and everything. Facing inward, just like this here. We have two uh, on the flat edge here, one on the corner, and then two more on this flat edge here. And just turn the corner with one, then two, then one, and then two. All right, over here. Uh, it looks like the, the very last of these little decorative diorite finials. Right here, like, uh, like that there. On all four of these little, uh, these little pads here that we've been building. Uh, okay, so wherever you did the uh, right side up stone brick stairs, on top of those put upside down cobblestone stairs. And it'll be, it might be a little bit difficult to squeeze these into the corners, but just do your best. Just like so. Yeah, I'll mark, uh, mark some of this out in red here. Next phase here, it's a little easier to see with our diorite. So now what we're doing is we're building a cylinder but we are doing it, of course, with, uh, with columns, and behind those, we want to have our brickwork pattern. But, of course, you know, we're trying to make everything circular. Uh, so, on top of all your upside-down uh, cobblestone stairs, put right-side-up cobblestone stairs on top of those, just like you do with the standard pattern that we've done for all the columns throughout the building. Uh, don't change that now, just keep doing it. And we've got a dial right here, and it's in some places they're connected, like you see, like you see here. And then dial right behind that, like so. Next phase here. Uh, we then want to extend out, and uh, every place over here where you see these stone bricks, you can go ahead and start placing down. Uh, diorite and everything because these are going to be more 
more direct columns. You know, just, just like all these columns that we've been building ever since we started this tutorial, you're building uh, yet more of those right here. Every every place you see this 2x2 two two square of diorite, you can, go, you can go ahead and build your uh, diorite column shaft to the same height as all the other ones. And behind that, uh, fill in according to this pattern here with uh, the diorite and the cobble. Actually, I think you may only need the cobble for that. Next phase up, of course, as you can see the columns beginning to take shape. Everything you did on that phase extended up another block level here. And then here, of course, we have another mortar layer. Just like so, what we did down back down here for this layer, do it again right there and extend up your column shafts. So here we have another layer. Like so here. Double that again. Like so. And then we have another mortar layer. And I think you can see where we're going with this. Another layer. Extend that one up another block. And do another mortar layer. Another layer. Extend that one up. Another block, like so, and then go ahead and do another mortar layer. Uh, but here you can see we have reached the top of our columns. Again, so you know what that means, upside down stone brick stairs, and then right side upstairs on top of those. Wherever you can fit them in, just like so. Then upside down cobblestone stairs. And another layer of cobblestone, just, just like you've been doing here with these layers. We're going to be doing another layer of that here. Like so. And then, um, looks like we stop here. Whereupon we add what looks like it's a mortar layer, but it's just on top of this cobble layer. So th this layer is not is not cut in. It's, uh, it's directly on top of the last cobblestone layer that you built because we're getting ready to finish that off. So you can see on top of all your upside down cobblestone stairs, upside down stone brick stairs. Again, and do the same over here, of course, for our canthus leaves to finish off our Corinthian capitals. Of course, everything starts getting squished very badly together right here at the top. Like this one starts overriding this, just, uh, just whichever one of these uh, you build first, that's going to be fine. Because we're just running out of space up here at the top. Just like so, and we have to do a lot of squishing. And then behind that, just fill everything in with cobble. Alright, next layer up. You know what that means. We finished our capitals, so we're now doing this round Corinthian entablature that I've been threatening you with the entire tutorial. We are finally here to do it. And I think you can uh, you can fairly easily see pattern here with the the die right that you want to lay out like that there that's uh, that's one quarter of it just like so fill that in and then extend it up one layer with uh, whatever block and do uh, upside down stone brick stairs we want to wrap these around. The corners, just like you see done here. There's going to be a little fiddly to place. But once you do that, you want to do all the four quadrants exactly the same. All right, next level up. Extend your diorite up one block level and another block level. Or two in total. And behind that, you know what comes next. Cobblestone details. So start here in the middle and place them like so. We're trying to skip every other block, just like we've been doing, except now we are trying to bend the entire pattern around as we go. And it should look uh, some, something like this here, almost like a little gear wheel. Alright, next level up. Probably the worst part. We have to take this difficult pattern for the Corinthian designs 
and bend it all the way around. So it's, it's easy here. We just have a little straight section here, but then we start bending it. Just like so here. And in some places where we, we you would think that we would put a cobblestone wall here, we can't. We have to have one floating here, and then not here, and then one out here. Just like so. I'll go all the way around this. Like you see done here, just squish it in however you think that it will go. I mean, people will be standing all the way down there. They won't really notice if you make a mistake, I don't think. Uh, so up here, uh, you know what comes next, the cornice. So stone brick, stone brick stairs, just wrap these around all the way around here. And I will go ahead and count the exterior of the cornice with the red here. So you can come back and double check that and make sure you got it right. Like that, uh, just like that there. And I'm not really sure why I have a bit of glowstone stuck in there. I'm really not sure at all. You don't have to build any of that. That must be from uh, whatever previous build I took the dome off of. Uh, so, speaking of the dome, that's what we're doing now. Uh, so over here, we are finished with our uh, uh, very difficult round Corinthian entablature. And uh, now you're not out of the woods yet. We have to do the dome. So here's the first level of the dome. You can see we're cutting back a block level and then putting um, uh, cobblestone slabs and then full blocks of cobblestone. Of course, uh, you recognize these little two blocks of diorite right here and there. You know what that means? More decorative uh, finials on the side here, eight in total. Do one of these, and uh, this dome has a secret, by the way. They're, they're pretty easy to once you get the once you know this. So, um, some people, when you're building domes, if you do if you do a center line like this, you know you can bisect the entire thing into four quadrants, right? Well. Uh, there's something else you can also do if you draw a 45 degree diagonal. Uh, you can bisect it again, and then you have not one quarter of a dome, but one eighth of a dome. So if you take this one eighth of a dome here, all you have to do is rotate it again to get the quadrant, and then rotate that all the way around to get the other eight sections in total. So pretty easy. Once you know these things, it makes it makes doing domes a little bit simpler. Uh, so next phase here, you can see we uh, get a bit more diorite and cobble, and we have a bunch of uh, red nether brick right from the top there. Next phase here, more red nether brick and cobble, finishing off these little decorative uh, finials here with the diorite and everything, just like so. We want to uh, cut out a block there and here. Next phase, next level up, we're cutting out a block here and here. Otherwise, we're extending things up at this section here. Next level up, pretty easy. A bit of cobblestone, mostly red nether brick. You can leave everything, everything back here hollow. It's, you don't, you don't have to build that. To save yourself uh, tens of thousands of blocks of cobblestone throughout the entire build, I, uh, I'm sure someone has built it uh, solid. My heart goes out to you, but I assume the rest of you have built it uh, hollow. All right, next slice up here. Looks like I've got a stray block of uh, red nether brick there. That should probably be cobble. But uh, three blocks here on either side, and the rest of it's otherwise cobble. Next layer up. Round section. 
of red nether brick, like so. Next phase again, same deal. Just uh, scooting things a little bit back, one block back as we go. Trying to get a round dome shape with uh, cobblestone ribbing on the top of it as best we can. Next layer up. Like this here. And next layer up, it's uh, pretty much all cobblestone now. Just like so, with the 5x5 five five square of uh, red nether brick in the middle. I think that's 5, yeah. Alright, a bit more diorite here. No more red nether brick. With a, now a 5x5 uh, five five pad of cobble. And then uh, diorite on the side of those. Next phase up, same deal, except we want to take a little nibble out of the uh, corner here. Otherwise, extend it up. Same deal again. You know our trusty uh, decorative diorite finial design here. Right there. Uh, if you want to, you can, uh, you can hide some lighting back in here. All right, next phase up from that. Put a bit of uh, gold ore here at the top. I really don't know where that block of uh, glowstone came from. I don't think you need it. Oh, no, wait, you might need it. Okay. That, that is there for the, I think it's for lighting. Or the eagle statue. Yeah, let's go over here and look at that. Okay, yeah, th that's what that's there for. You can just put a torch here if you don't want to use the glowstone. It'll be fine. Uh, and here you can see on top of the gold ore, we have the first part of the uh, the Roman eagle statue tutorial, just like so. I'll put some red on it to uh, make it more apparent where that goes. And of course, as I already remarked, from this point onwards, down here, this last level here, to finish building this, you want to refer to the Roman Eagle tutorial video for this one. And once you have done all of that, the front of your hippodrome should resemble this here with your completed triumphal arch, your towers on either side, your Roman Eagle statues, and of course, your Spartan hoplite. You're standing on top of the triumphal archway and everything. So it's been seven very long parts to uh, describe the building in as much detail as I can, given how large the building is. Remember, of course, uh, you can just download the world. If uh, anything I, I glossed over, it was uh, important and you need to go back and take a look at it. That is there for you as well to give you as much as I reasonably can to help you reconstruct the building and everything, as I always do. Uh, in part eight though we are going to tackle uh, this spine down the middle because as you can see here we have quite a number of statues to build some of these already have their own tutorials uh, like uh, the roman soldier statue here the equestrian statue the lion statues uh, i don't think the atlas statue it's it's a it's a different atlas statue there i don't think the discobolus statue has its own tutorial either uh, and this old horse design, I forget. So somebody made this like 10 years ago in Minecraft. I've just been using it ever since. It's not my design. Uh, but anyway, uh, that'll be for the next part. In part 8, when we finally get, get all these uh, statues done here down the middle, and we will be finished with the huge and massive Roman Hippodrome tutorial. So yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.